Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be a K's Scented Wax Melt Sol. Now, I will link my original video down below, and I will say, full disclosure, I was not overly impressed on first impressions from K's before. And I will say, it's boring wax. And that, I said in my last video, it's boring wax. There's no crazy colors, designs, labels, anything that's like super, super insane, impressive, anything like that. But I'm not saying that as a negative. And after talking with Carla, after my last haul, we talked a lot about she is open 24-7, 365 days a year. She does customs every single day. You can order customs from Carla at K's every single day. In order to do that, she needs to turn out the wax. She has clams, she has these um, loaves, and then she has the cups, which are my favorite. And what I love is you can order anything, anytime. And that is what sets her apart. So she can't be doing all the crazy glitter and the shapes and the molds and the labels and everything. And over time, I've realized that what works, works, and what doesn't, doesn't. And in my last home, I've talked about it before, the ceilings are super, super high, and I was not getting performance. So honestly, I don't remember a whole lot of what I melted from K's. It was kind of a blur. So I'm in my new home. After watching so many haul videos from Nicole Perry, from my friend Natalie, from lots of YouTubers here on YouTube in the wax community, I was like, you know what? I'm going to give Carla another chance. And so impressed with the way that she works, rejoined her Facebook group, and really just learned and really took time to see what blends work, what I would like, what I want to order, and I placed an order. Now, from what I've understood, her performance is great. I, since everything's freshly poured, will let this sit for about a month before I dive into it, which is perfectly okay, but I placed an order on June 27th, and I told Natalie, and she goes, Drew, she's having a 20% off everything sale for the 4th of July. I'm like, what? Let's just say, I got my order on the 27th, I got it on July 1st, and I placed a second order on July 2nd for even more, and I spent a lot of time creating these customs, really thinking about what works, what doesn't work, what I want to blend, ideas in my head, and I have a story for every custom that I did. I also ordered some single scents from her, <clears throat> and I also ordered some of her house blends, but I definitely wanted to take the time, share a lot about Kay, a lot about the wax. Carla is one of the sweetest people you will ever meet. Her and I went back and forth online about our orders, or about my order and what I wanted, and it's funny because me, Natalie, and Charity were all like <clears throat> plotting our orders together for this sale. What are you getting? What are you getting? Oh, I want to try this. I want to try this. And we, and um, she messaged uh, Natalie and was like, did you and Drew go in on this order? Like, did you guys plan this? Because a lot of the scents that we got... <clears throat> were very similar, which is super, super funny because we were just like, that sounds so good. I need to try it. Drew, try this. Natalie, try that. There's so many great scents here in this box. And I will say, after my original order, I sniffed it really quick, left it, came back in a couple days, and they developed even more. So they are super fresh. Everything came really fast, freshly poured. Again, her entire scent list is available all the time. This is Kay's. I'm super excited to give them, what do they call, not like, um, not, oh, it is a second chance, but what do they call that? Like a, um, give them a, not a college try. I forget what I, I, I don't know exactly what I was trying to say, but I'm excited to dive into this haul, show you guys what I got. So without further ado, Let's get into it. First and foremost, I think we should just start with the blend that I have seen Nicole Perry talk about in almost every video that features K's. And I'm like, that literally sounds to die for. I have to try it. And this is Nicole Perry's blend. I take full 
I give her full credit for this, and it is mango sorbet, Malibu rum cupcakes, and orange chiffon cake. You guys, Nicole, oh my lord. So right off the bat, you smell this really rich, fresh from the bakery orange cupcake, but it's almost like the orange cupcake had this beautiful rum frosting on top. As far as mango goes, I feel like the mango and the orange chiffon cake are blending together to make the orange even more special and more decadent and delightful, but the Malibu rum cupcakes too, like I said, it is literally like the most delicious decadent orange cake topped with a rum frosting. This is is heaven and I know I'm like thinking about fall but honestly this right here totally great for this time of year and I love this and if it throws as well as it smells there I cannot wait all right next now this is interesting Natalie raved about this to me Drew you got to get it Drew you got to get it and I ordered them separately but it looks like this was already a house blend custom because Carla put, it's called Where To Next, and it is Tobacco Leaf and Amber, Lord of Misrule, and Bourbon and Butterscotch. Now, Lord of Misrule is a lush type, which is black pepper, patchouli, and vanilla. So, mixed with, I can already smell it. This is one, when I first smelled it, I didn't really smell the Lord of Misrule. As it's sitting, you totally get Lord of Misrule, which again, is like a deep, dark, patchouli with a very creamy vanilla and that spice of black pepper. As far as like the bourbon and butterscotch, I feel like that's in the background, sweetening it up, adding like a really, really sweet warmth. And then the tobacco leaf and amber makes it smoky and a little bit cologne -y. This will be perfect on a really cold fall night. It's a really, really pretty. Now, for you guys who love K's, what warmers do you use for your K's? And how many of these little cut pieces do you typically put in a warmer? I was probably gonna do two in a warmer, but let me know how many of these you use in a warmer. Oh, this is so amazing. And I say this every time I talk about a Lush dupe. When you have a Lush dupe fragrance, you almost smell like that signature Lush scent that is like the, um, bath bomb dust. Really, really cool. Next is Banana Bake. This had my name written all over it. It's Bananas Flambe, which Bananas Foster is like my favorite dessert of all time. You don't find it many places. Um, and it says caramelized sugar with rum, banana nut bread, and zucchini bread. I mean, can we talk about like pure decadence? Oh, uh, absolutely. This is so good. I will say, the zucchini bread is a scent that I smell the lightest out of all of these. This is just a very decadent, rich, almost like, this is what I want a banana foster to smell or taste like. I love this. This is going to be so good. I'm still waiting on my couch to get delivered. Oh, it's like the last thing that will make this apartment. I will do a tour once everything's done, but sitting on the couch watching a great movie, melting this, and just feeling cozy, and obviously needing to make Bananas Foster because it is so decadent, so rich, true, incredible dessert. Next, this is a house blend from Carla. This is berry topped waffles. And this is golden waffles, mixed berry compote, and sweetened whipped cream. Yum. Now, you guys, this, this takes me instantly back to my grandma. My grandma would make waffles in the mornings if I spent the night in the old fashioned waffle iron. I remember whenever she lifted the griddle, those waffles were perfectly crisp, gooey in the middle, and she would top them with syrup, hot syrup that she had in the microwave, and that with delicious berries. Now this is mixed berries. I pick up on, stra on strawberry and raspberry most importantly in this, but 
but absolutely, it just instantly takes me back to breakfast with my grandma. Oh, this is so good. And you really get the waffle, that really warm, right off of the griddle waffle. So happy with this one. Next, we have another Nicole Perry blend. This is pumpkin pecan waffles, blueberry, and espresso. I mean, does that not sound delicious? And it does. I will say, though, the coffee or the espresso is not super strong. I can smell it, but it's definitely a blueberry waffle forward fragrance. Not a bad thing. I just wish that the espresso was a little bit stronger. So I'm going to melt it on its own to see how it is. If I do have some single scent oils from another vendor of espresso to add to it to amp up that espresso, but this is yummy. I really like how it is right now. And if I do, and if I do like it, but I think I need more espresso, I'll just custom it and I'll ask Carla to add a little bit more espresso oil. Oh, but right now, it smells so yummy. This is like, I swear I need a basket of just my Sunday morning baskets because this is totally a Sunday morning melt. All, you know, cozy in bed, smelling the fresh waffles. Incredible. All right, Natalie has been begging me. You gotta order Black Sea. You gotta order Black Sea. Drew, order Black Sea. I got Black Sea. Now, when I hear Black Sea, and I read the description, it is not what I would think at all. So Black Sea says cardamom, clove, amber, and vanilla. I was expecting like a very aquatic, like, you know, oceanic fragrance. No. And this is so funny. When you work at Bath & Body Works, you get gratises, so, aka like some free product. And I remember when the Whiskey Reserve came out for men, we got the Whiskey Reserve shower gel as managers for free. This smells like Whiskey Reserve. I have it in my shower now. Every morning when I take a shower with that, I'm like, that is so different because I don't typically like masculine fragrances. But then I smell this and I'm like, this smells like my shower. And I held the bottle up to my nose and I held this. If you like the Whiskey Reserve scent for Bath & Body Works, you have to try this. The notes don't match up at all. So I don't know what's going on with that, but absolutely, it is masculine. It's rich. It almost, to me, smells like a hint of shaving cream. Could just be me, but I definitely get like a shaving cream note. Next, Haunted House Season. I believe this is also a house blend from her. And when I read this description, I was like, sign me up. This is Smoky Fallen Leaves apple clove butter, and pumpkin pecan waffles. Doesn't that sound heavenly? It's really good. I totally pick up on the apple butter. And to me, when I'm smelling this, the smoky fallen leaves, this almost reminds me of a homemade apple butter, but the apple butter is made with like a smoked apple. So almost like you took the apples, you roasted them over a campfire, so they got charred, really, really rich and decadent, and then you made the apple butter with it, and as far as pumpkin pecan waffles goes, it's very light in the background, it's not super, super heavy, and that's something that I've noticed with all the pumpkin pecan waffles blends that I got, the pumpkin pecan waffles is not overpowering, which is good, because that oil normally is super overwhelming. Now, if I do melt this, I have, like, I'm literally looking right here at, like, 10 pumpkin pecan waffles candles. I can always burn it with this when I melt it, but, yeah, this is really yummy. Totally like an apple butter made with very, very, like, charred, fresh off of a campfire apple. Really excited to melt that this fall. And I believe this is the last one from my original order. Yes, it is. This is Black Opium. Another one I would have never ordered if it wasn't for Natalie. And this is Cedarwood, Vanilla, Orange Blossom, Patchouli, and Notes of Coffee. The Yves Saint Laurent or YSL type perfume. Black Opium. I don't really remember smelling that perfume. I might have been passing, but... I'm not getting much from this. 
and I don't know if it's my nose. This was freshly poured. I got it again on July 1st, but I'm not getting much from it right now. I'll be 100% honest. Maybe the slightest, like, woodsy scent. But that's about it. But I know that Natalie raised about this on warm. So for my nose right now, I don't smell a lot out of it. But again, once you warm it up, those notes come out. But right now, I'm not getting anything from this. But like a light woodsy scent. Again, has to cure. Things develop. So much more I've learned even just this week with melting some things that I was like, I'm not really crazy about it. Popped it in my warmers. Wow. I am now. All right, so that was my first order. Now let's dive in to my 4th of July order. First up, we have Palo Santo. I have to try Palo Santo from every vendor. I love my Palo, and I love to see what every vendor does with it. Now, K's is not the Bath & Body Works type. K's reminds me of the Vintage Chic Scents oil, where it's more like, I don't want to say perfumey, and it come across that way, but like, it's very smooth Palo Santo. Like, true. There's not amber or musk or cedar wood or vanilla or anything else to it. It's pure, smooth Palo Santo wood. And I couldn't love it anymore. Oh, it is so good. I can't wait to give this guy some cure time and see what I can do with that. Next, another Natalie blend, French bread. I am such a sucker for bready notes and bready scents. The breadier, the yeastier, the better for me. Oh, and this is so good. This smells like a true crusty bread. It's not overtly yeasty because I know sometimes those yeast notes can really, really affect. But no, this is definitely more of a true crusty piece of French bread. I picture going into an Italian restaurant, getting that loaf of bread, snapping off a piece, dipping it in butter, and eating it. Yeah, totally French bread. And oh, I think this is going to be heavenly. Love that. Speaking of heavenly, speaking of delicious, this is a custom I created, and it is called The Sinner. I thought this name was super fun, especially with the notes. The notes are key lime pie, raspberry, and zucchini bread. And again, it is called The Sinner. If you know, you know. Natalie and Charity, I know you know. And this scent, it is so strong, raspberry. Like, so strong, raspberry, blow you out the trailer strong. It is... <laughs> it is insane how yummy this is. If you love raspberry, if you love key lime, you definitely get those notes. And the zucchini bread is just the right amount of cozy. It is so, so yummy. I cannot wait to melt that. And again, the sinner. What a perfect name. Next, honeyed pineapple. This is another one Nicole Perry was talking about raved about, could not get enough of, so I had to try it because I'm a sucker for pineapple. <sighs> this smells like pineapples covered in its natural juices. It is so good. As far as honey goes, I would not say it smells like, like the bear that you get at the grocery store that's just squeezing over a pineapple. I just say it's a super sweet pineapple. And if you've tried pineapple from other vendors where it's like, like, you need to take a seat, it's so strong. No, this is more mellow pineapple, but it's more rich and pure with just the right amount of sweetness. Heaven. Again, these blends are so good, I, I can't get over it. All right, let's continue with the single scents. We have bourbon, strawberry, vanilla, another Nicole Perry favorite. I got so many Nicole Perry scents, it's crazy. This is a Bath & Body Works type, and... It smells just like it. If you smell this, without even looking at the name, you'd be like, oh yeah, that smells like Bath & Body Works. It has that quintessential Bath & Body Works body care scent that people know and love. And it is a creamy, creamy, creamy strawberry, but you smell the bourbon. You do get that alcohol note. It kind of smooths it out, but it's really, really delicious. And 
I mean, I know Nicole uh, has this on its own. I'm excited. I believe she did place a 4th of July order to see what she got. When I watch her videos, I take notes. I listen. I watch a couple times. And I love. So, cannot wait to get that and melt this one. Alright, so that was it for the single scents. Now, this one is only one label. This is a house blend from her. This is We Three Kings. And this is Blue Sugar, Palo Santo, and Marshmallow Fireside. I've been loving, loving Blue Sugar lately. So, mix with Palo and Marshmallow Fireside. Absolutely. Now, what's really crazy about this, when you smell the blue sugar, which it's blue sugar, I feel like is such a hard scent to describe because it really does just smell like a true, like caramelized sugar, like crystallized sugar on a cupcake, but it has so much more richness and I hate to say cologne, but it does. It has that cologne aspect to it. And you smell the marshmallow fireside, which that in itself is what sets this blend apart because marshmallow fireside is so hard to detect in some blends. I'm like, why does it say marshmallow fireside? I do not smell it because marshmallow fireside has that smoldering woods and that toasted marshmallow note. This totally has it. You can totally tell it's marshmallow fireside. And then that little bit of palo smooths it up makes it so yummy and I think the name We Three Kings is perfect for it and I love this blue wax color all right next we have oh I ordered 16 ounces of this because I've ordered this from other vendors other so many vendors have this combination and everyone I've ordered it from it's literally 33 33 33 so I figured I'm gonna try it from case it's blue sugar warm vanilla sugar zucchini bread this scent is just magical you guys it's just magic I, I can't even describe it and I don't know if it's the way the warm vanilla sugar blends with the zucchini bread and the blue sugar but it's not bakery it's not fresh it's just perfect it's cozy when you want something cozy it's like comforting and warm when you want something warm it's refreshing anytime i feel like i need my nose to reset i blend i put this blend blue sugar warm vanilla sugar zucchini bread in my warmers from any vendor and it just it makes me so happy and any vendor blend that i have this in lasts for days so i don't expect k's to be any different Another one I got two of is one that just, it's just, it should just be called Drew's Signature, honestly. It is Cider Lane Pumpkin Pecan Waffles and Palo Santo. Cider Lane, my kryptonite, delicious, rich, gooey, caramel apple, pumpkin pecan waffles, say any more, and Palo Santo. Yep, yep, yep. You get Cider Lane, you get pumpkin pecan waffles, and you get that smooth, delicious Palo Santo. I could literally take a nap with this scent. It is so good. If you get anything from this haul, this Cider Lane Pumpkin Pecan Waffles Palo Heaven, the center. You have to. I mean, you just have to. It's so good. All right, speaking of zucchini bread, blue sugar, all those, this is Natalie's blend that she saw from the pharmacist's daughter that she loved, and I don't love the pharmacist's daughter. I don't support them or their business practice, so I was excited to try this from Carla, and this is blue sugar, zucchini bread, and wood sage and sea salt, and wood sage and sea salt is a Joe Malone type. Yeah. And that, you totally get. This makes me want to order Wood Sage and Sea Salt in an 8-ounce bag on its own in my next order because the Wood Sage and Sea Salt here really freshens it up. And that's cool because Blue Sugar and Zucchini Bread are such, like, warm, like, bakery gourmandy fragrances. Mixed with Wood Sage and Sea Salt, it just brightens it up freshens it up, cleans the air almost. So really, really, really excited about that one. Next, Krista from K Marie Plans. I watched her haul and she had this scent and I was like, 
Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Serendipity Strawberry Pound Cake. Boom, boom. I love Strawberry Bakery. Serendipity is a scent. That is the scent for me that I never would think in a million years I would ever enjoy or ever want to melt in my house because it's cherry and coconut, which I don't love. But the combination of the cherry with that creamy, creamy coconut just makes it amazing. And Boom Boom is the Boom Boom cream type, which is like a creamy pistachio. You get it all. You get the Boom Boom. But then sometimes you're smelling it, you get the serendipity. And then you're like, what's that? Oh my God, it's strawberry pound cake. You get it all. This I would wear as a perfume because the serendipity is so pronounced. You get that creamy cherry coconut, but that strawberry pound cake and that boom boom come in there to cream it all up and make this such a decadent, decadent scent. But at the same time, I would want to pop this in my warmers after a long day of work, crawling into bed, turning on a good show. Right now I'm binge watching Grace and Frankie. Love that show. If you have not tried it on Netflix or watched it, you have to. This is comfort. This is just comfort. Sleep like a baby. Oh, really, really, really yummy. Cannot wait to melt this one. Oh, all right. I only have five more to go. Another Nicole Perry. I actually think this is the last. Yep, this is the last Nicole Perry blend. And when I watched a video from her, I want to say this was last year, she said this gives Today is October 3rd a run for its money. And Today is October 3rd from L3 is another blend that I just adore. And Today is October 3rd is Sugar Cookie Royale, Palo Santo, and... My God. Palo Santo. Today, uh... Sugar cookie, oh, toasted mallow. I'm like, wait a minute, I'm losing it. So this is Palo Santo, sugar cookie crunch, and vanilla birch. So different, but still that same vibe, that really smoky, creamy, woodsy. This is so good. The vanilla birch, you really can smell how that vanilla birch, you're outside and you smell the snow, that fresh fallen snow, you smell that birch wood right in the middle of the snow, like all white snow falling, but the toastiness from the rich decadent sugar cookie and that smooth, smooth palo, this is so, so cool. I cannot wait until this cures for a little bit because I feel like all those scents, vanilla birch, sugar cookie palo, do need a little bit of a longer cure time to really develop more. But right now, I'm loving what I'm smelling because I can smell all of those notes. Oh, uh, yeah. If you like that blend from L3, you have to give this one a try because the cookie, if you like cookie bakery scents, give that one a shot. The next, Natalie's written all over that. She told me again, you have to try it. This is... Birch and Black Pepper, which is a Joe Malone type, Viva La Juicy, which is a perfume, and Cashmere Black. So, on the label, it says Cashmere Black, and Carla and I were messaging. On the website, it's Liquid Cashmere Black. She just couldn't fit that whole thing on this little label, but it is the Donna Karen type perfume. Now, I open this. It just smells like perfume. It smells like I walked into the Ulta store in the perfume section. And I say that because I can see the big bottle of Viva La Juicy when it came out and everybody was wearing it. So right now, not a favorite because of the perfumey. It just smells like really strong perfume. But I'm sure that birch and black pepper will come out when you melt it. But right now, it is very just perfumey. Again, gotta throw it in the warmers. Next, in the study. Now, I created this custom in the study because Carla made a post, what would you blend with library? Now, library is like an old books type of scent. So I'm like, okay, old books, well, obviously leather because I love leather scents and leather, library, old book. And then I'm like, black opium. That's a scent from Carla that Natalie loves. I have it over here, not super strong on cold. So I figured... 
blended with black, maybe the black opium because it is like a more deep perfume. And library and leather can be more on the masculine side. So throwing in a more feminine with the black opium will really like cause it to be really cool. This is really good. And here's why I love this. The leather is not overwhelming. Does not smell like you're in a saddle shop. Does not smell like you're getting a new belt or a new pair of leather shoes. It smells like you're in the study. You're in a study of a very fancy person's house and they have leather armchairs that are pressed in. You have the gold buttons and the bookshelf and someone is sitting there reading a book. Like I can almost smell a person with thick perfume flipping through the pages of a book in the study. That is fabulous. Total bedroom, total living room. If you're fancy and have a study, a total study scent, but really, really good. Next, this was kind of one that I was like, I'm just going to throw some stuff out of the wall and see if it sticks. And I called it Decadence. And it is pumpkin pecan waffles, bananas flambe, and gingerbread. And I was just coming up with like a really decadent, rich bakery. It's good, however, not a favorite. I kind of think that the gingerbread throws it off. I love the idea of pumpkin pecan waffles and bananas, like sliced fresh bananas on pumpkin pecan waffles. But again, I think the gingerbread kind of throws it off a little bit. Again, these were freshly poured. I got this order on July 11th. I added my little sticker on the back here. So still super fresh. And I won't melt this to like deep into fall, but I do enjoy it on cold. I wonder what the gingerbread's gonna do with it on warm. And last but not least, Natalie, I love you so much. She's such a great friend, such a great person. I cannot wait until the fall to come and visit her on the Jersey Shore. We're gonna do a collab video. It's gonna be so much fun and full of truth. It's just gonna be great. Anyway, this scent is inspired by Natalie. She told me about it, but she didn't have a name for it. So it's Salty Sierra, Her Black Sea, and Pink Sugar. And I called it Jersey Shore Girl. It's my Jersey Shore girl. And she loves Black Sea. She lives off the beach, Salty Sea Air, and Pink Sugar. Pink girly Axel's little playroom is pink. Absolutely. This is so good. I know that Natalie's been obsessed with Salty Sea Air and Rainbow Sherbet together from Sensi and Destination Wax. So Salty Sea Air, Black Sea, and Pink Sugar. I can just picture this in Natalie's house. This is what Natalie's house smells like. Like, that Black Sea, it's so good. Again, it reminds me of that Whiskey Reserve. Blended with that super sweet, girly pink sugar. I really, really like this one, you guys. I'm really impressed. And again, the name is so fitting for my good friend Natalie, who I love so much and has been such a great person in my life through the last couple months. She's just incredible, great human being. Whew. That was my haul, you guys. I have a lot of wax, as always. Cannot wait to get to melting this and including it in my basket, which my basket's over here. And let me tell you, she's getting full. So I think the next video on Monday is going to be an empties video. I'm going to sit down and fill it because there's nothing more satisfying than taking that basket recycling it and starting fresh. I love a good reset and I have a basket back here of stuff I want to melt through this weekend and she's still full. So with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you guys got in the K's 4th of July haul. Are there some K scents that you absolutely love that I need to try? Let me know down below and I'm going to get ready while I edit this video and watch Lacey Morrison Blue's video. I see she posted a K's video. Definitely need to check that out, support, and watch her and I'll talk to you guys soon. Be kind, subscribe if you haven't, hit that notification bell, all the things. Make it a better world. I love you all so much, and you matter. Bye, guys.